I think uh, accreditation by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums is important because it makes you, it holds you to high standards and it represents a commitment to being the best in your field and, and it represents a, a desire to be a part of a larger community that hold, they, they hold each other to high standards. This is what we're proud of today, yeah. which is 25 years of being accredited by the AZA. Yeah. So. For an institution like Tennessee Aquarium to be continuously accredited for 25 years is a huge accomplishment. Only a handful of institutions have been able to do that. What that demonstrates is that, that there is a continual commitment to excellence, to improvement, um, to making yourself the best that you can be, and, and continuing to evolve with, with time. And in terms of exhibitry, in terms of the expertise that you have here at the aquarium, in terms of what you're doing in the larger community in, in Chattanooga. Conservation Institute was a real inspiration. I, I, I am impressed that the aquarium has made that kind of commitment to Helping species that you know we that we we don't see or think about on a day-to-day -day basis. Zoos and aquariums are playing a pivotal role. One by uh, by contributing directly to conservation. Our members collectively contribute more than 200 million dollars a year to conservation by inspiring people to care about wildlife um, and by being a part of a community and affecting. Um, and showing people how they can help wildlife both at the local level, at the national scale, and at the global scale. Places like Tennessee Aquarium are more important than they've ever been before because people can come here, they can see things and experience things that, they, that, that are absent from their life. And, and when you see young children here, you know, watching, watching otter, or you know, looking at, um, at exotic fish that they'll never have the opportunity to see in nature, quite likely. I mean, they're making a connection to those animals, and that, that's that's something that's missing from people's lives, and they, they can find it here. Versus what does that look like on the property? Places like this, I've, I mean, I feel like a kid again. So you know, when I, when I come to a place like Tennessee Aquarium, and you walk by that touch tank with the sturgeon, it's like, a, well, of course I'm going I'm gonna touch a sturgeon. I mean, so. You know, you, you kneel down, you're looking at that otter, you're kind of face to face with a river otter. Places like this, they, they I mean, they, they're magical. They provide something to people that is, uh, that we inherently need. It just gives us a, a sense of connection.